Hi friends, this is Caitlin and I'm so excited to see you today. I'm gonna to be doing a walkthrough of my craft space. It's not really a room, it's kind of a hallway transition area between my living room and my kitchen because we kind of took apart our dining room and turned half of it into a bathroom for our downstairs with uh, laundry. So this is kind of the space that was left over and it's definitely evolved over the last couple years, but I have really made it work for me and the system that I have now is great and I love it and I can get what I need quickly and put things away quickly, which is a really big deal for me to be able to clean up since my whole family is walking in and out of this space constantly all day every day so I can't just leave it a mess and close the door and walk away and come back later I have to be able to keep up with it so let's get to it all right so this is my craft room setup so I have makeup over here from my other hobby hustle I have ink cubes sheets full sheets of paper some alcohol wipes and all of my Copic refills. All of my planners, clipboards, color charts are in there. I have some sticky embellishments over here with 91% alcohol, which I use for both makeup and Copics. I have some distress oxides and blending things here. All of my scraps of my Copic and white and watercolor paper. Um, a bunch of different adhesives, my heat tool. These are all of the stamps that I have pulled or products in general for future, near future product projects. Over here is where I normally keep my laptop and my iPad to charge. I've got um, all of my stamp organizing stuff, all my magnet sheets and folders and all that's down there. My stencils and background stamps, um, extra general art supplies, and then shipping stuff and my laminator. And you can see that I did not particularly clean up. I wanted this to be a very honest and truthful craft room with you. So under there I have my printer. I have my Big Shot, my Sizzix Big Shot. I have my scrap bin. I have some giant rolls of foam tape. I have my scoring board, my Misty, and then I have this little bin that has all my normal like embossing, go-to embossing powders right in that little cubby. Regular actual desk stuff lives in that drawer so I don't use that for crafting. On my desktop, I have one of my Positively Everything tools, which I love. I have all of my inks set up in this little clear cubby. My kind of on hand tools that I use every day. This usually goes up there. Um, this is where I put current or finished projects that I need to take pictures of. This is leftover stuff that needs to get put away but normally when I'm working I put my iPad up there and I watch crafty videos while I craft. Um, I have a drawer that has actual makeup that I wear day to day, so that's for sometimes. I have three of the Organize More um, marker towers, which are amazing. That is my desk trash bin. I have lights all the way around. This guy is what holds my phone in place to film videos. I have one of these magnetic die holders that we'll talk more about later. And then up on this wall, I have this really cool organizer I found at Target um, that holds some of my little tiny bottles as well as my ink blenders. I have brushes, I have pens, water, uh, anti-static powder tool. Um, these are all my scraps from like as I'm creating and then once that gets full, I'll put it in the big scrap bin. These are all pencils and like markers for my planner. I have this, the um, picture ledge and this pegboard are all from Ikea. So I have some of my favorite, <laughs> a signed Taylor Swift CD, and then some of my favorite um, card projects, four by sixes that I've colored, I framed to keep. Um, I have lots of different pastes and blending tools and brushes up there. And then over here, that's more products I need to use. 
these are all finished cards that I need to organize and find homes for. Uh, up here I have all of my dies, some tall dies that won't fit anywhere else. This needs to get sorted away somewhere else. I have all of my sprays in these bins. And again, it's dusty, I apologize, but this is real life. So I have all my embossing folders. I have colorful embossing powders, um, stamps, and I store all of my stamps by brand. So I have Pink and Main, Stamping Bella, my favorite things up at the top. And then all of these ones down here are mixed brands and I'll show you more in a little bit, but I have dividers in there so I know which brand is where. And down here I have all of my six by six paper sheets, um, some kind of like extra storage stuff. All my alcohol inks are in there. Sorry, alcohol inks are in there, alcohol ink tools are in there. I have a bunch of my um, purple onion loose red rubber stamps up there. Embellishments are all here, loose ones, twine. Uh, and then nine by 11 sheets of solid and pattern paper are there. So that is my whole little craft room. Oh, my paper uh, guillotines over there. That's why there's paper everywhere. Um, the other thing I wanted to share is how I make my dividers for my stamp sets. So most of the time when we get a stamp set, it comes with packaging like this. Um, and so I will sacrifice <laughs> one stamp set or sometimes if you're getting stamps and then coordinating dies, I'll sacrifice the die backer. And I, what I do is just cut straight across and I take some um, packing tape and I just tape the brand onto these. And all these are, are they are from I'm pretty sure I learned this from Jennifer McGuire or someone like that if I can figure it out I'll tag them down below um, but these are just file plastic folders from Target you can also get them at Walmart or anywhere and what you do is let's see if it'll work I usually use my guillotine trimmer for this too So there you go. You're going to split these in half and cut off the um, little pocket part and then cut them in half and just trim them down to be the size that I need for my containers. And these are really great, super durable. Uh, you can peel it off if you need to or even like flip them that way and you could do a different one on the top if you wanted with your corner chomper you could always like you know around the edges if you wanted um, but I love keeping my stamps organized this way and I love just using these file folders that are super easy and not expensive I keep all of my ink cubes in these kind of bead or um, craft storage containers as well. So I did the same thing over here with that sticker paper. These are all of my distress ink cubes. I have some I need to put away over here too. Um, so I have a big one that holds the bulk of them. I have this little guy that holds kind of the purples to the neutrals, but I still have some room to grow. And for the most part, when I need something, I know exactly where to go. And then this same kind of thing also works perfectly. I have all of the My Favorite Things inks over here. And then I just got these Stamp Market inks um, this week. So I haven't gotten to play with them yet, but I have them in their own little aisle over here. And again, just super easy. They stack up really neat. And I love that, especially um, when you're looking at them from the front of the shelf. You know, you can kind of see the general idea of where you should start looking at least. And then once you pull them out and you can see the top, then you're good to go. Thank you so much for sticking around. I hope you're feeling super inspired on some ways that you might be able to organize your small space or even a small space within your big craft room if you are lucky enough to have one. 
I hope that you come back tomorrow because I will be sharing a special Saturday video at 5 p.m. Eastern tomorrow with an amazing Sweet November Stamps giveaway um, with their fall release that's coming out tomorrow. So make sure that you come back for that. I hope you have the most amazing week and as always, happy crafting.